All right. It's my garage, my rules. I like that concept. Uh, what I want to do is talk today um, on this final video that I've uh, just made is I put the finishing touches on uh, putting an uh, air compressor in my attic to free up the floor. I've got a single car garage that I do all my projects in and I just don't have room. Uh, I've got a plasma cutter, I've got a MIG, uh, I've got a I got a lot of things going on. I just don't have the square footing. I, I live in a condo that's uh, uh, the area is number 38 out of the top 50 places to live. I got a view that's nice, but the homeowner association won't let me work outside, and so I got to do everything in here. And uh, when I retire in a couple of years, I'll probably buy land, put a pole barn up, and make my own shop. But for now, I've got an air compressor in my attic. I just installed this uh, 50 foot 3 8 Goodyear hose reel that I've got LP flex line running uh, off of. I've got LP flex line running through my whole system and I'll get on that. I made a 2x10 um, framing three sides and I lag screwed it to the uh, side joist. Put this thing in uh, just to give it some integrity and you know, it's solid as hell. It's right in the middle of my shop I built it out a couple inches there so it wouldn't be close to any of my stuff and um, that's going to work really well you know I was off for four months after having surgery on my thumbs and I thought that I was going to be able to get a lot of this stuff accomplished while I was off but the reason you're off is because you can't do anything so I had a lot of time to think about where I was going to put that hose reel that's, a, that's a part of that story the whole impetus for this uh, for this topic is I had this 20 gallon speed air that the tank started leaking on my father had bought this it had not been uh, properly serviced and uh, before it detonated I cut the took a sawzall and cut this platform off of uh, the tank this thing was working like a trooper it still works fine but it wouldn't uh, recharge fast enough I ended up actually burning out capacitors in the Mac 5200 the Makita because um, I wasn't able to respect the uh, the duty cycle in that thing, working on the front end of my Cadillac. So um, this thing was taking too long to charge up. I had 40 gallons. Um, I had added a 20 gallon tank, and it just wasn't getting it. So I upgraded to a five horsepower ball door, ball door a compression pump 208 230. I'm running single phase, so I'm pulling 240 out here, and that's it within the 10 percent. Um, that it can handle. I uh, grabbed a little 120 box or a leg off of that wire and this is all old school. I got a 125 amp uh, sub panel box out at my front door right now. UPS just delivered. I'm going to change out all my electric in here. I've got two weight coming out here and all that bull drive. It was a pain in the butt but um, for all intents and purposes this box is not grounded. So I have got to get all that straightened out. Now I've got to get in code and I'm going to straighten all this electric out. But for now, I've got this 5 horsepower servicing a 5 horsepower Harbor Freight pump. Single stage 2 cylinder. Um, that This motor turns at 3,750 RPM. This pump spec is 1,050 RPM. Which I think after the formula that you can grab readily off of the internet. Turns a 7 8 shaft into a 4 and a quarter inch pulley. That puts me in uh, the tech range that uh, I can get 100. I think I've, I'm going to 1100 RPM. This thing takes a little over five and a half minutes to fill up. I got 77 gallons. It goes, uh, it takes a minute and a half to go from 115 to 150. Um, off of this, and all this, this line here is quarter MPT. Coming out of the head, but uh, the rest of them is refrigerant or some kind of Chinese. So I just changed all this out to quarter MPT, and I went with the flex lines like throughout. Like I said, coming out of uh, the head, I've got this uh, flex line going into the bottom of that after cooler, which was a 16 pass oil cooler, which has been turned into a to a condenser, 16 pass condenser. You can see it because. Left my stinking flashlight down there, but I've got that going into uh, flare fitting. That um, I 
coiled up 60 feet of one half inch copper. Um, the reason I put this little 120 box on here is to service uh, uh, fans. I got a couple of crap fans. And every time the, the pressure switch is on, those fans blow on this coil. You never throw anything away. You don't know. That line is that ambient. I took a laser and it's seeing 180, almost 190 here at the head. And uh, it comes out almost ambient at the top of that condenser. But it's absolutely 74 degrees. Everything else here, 73, 74 degrees. So um, that worked. That line I've got going into Milton Water Air Separator with an automatic drip valve. I've got going into a garden sprinkler. That works. That line from that Milton Water Air Separator is going into my check valve before it goes into the first tank. That checked out valve is rated at 450 psi. It's also ported for your uh, unloader valve. So I've got the unloader valve and this line going back to my pressure switch. All right. Um, that's a Hubble or Hubel going into uh, my garage there where I've got the switch I can reach. 115 to 150. All right. So, um, like I say, it takes a minute and a half to go from 150 to 115 to 150. After this first tank, I've got the same kind of plumbing on all three tanks. I've got ball valves on both upper and lower. I've got high flow fittings on everything except my plasma cutter. I think I've still left that at a quarter. And uh, so I've got a 10 gallon Husky tank and a 7 gallon um, Harbor Freight tank that I left at a 1 quarter and 3 eighths. Uh, quick disconnects in case I got to throw them in the truck. Out of this last tank, I've got a water filter or some kind of you know what a crap filter, which hasn't spewed out one stinking little automatic drip. I've got that pressure set at 100 psi. That line is feeding into before it goes into my air reel, feeds into an idea I saw on the uh, YouTube about taking an underwater filter uh, sink filter. And uh, turning it, doing some reverse engineering, putting desket in it, which absolutely dries my air, which is going to be outstanding for my plasma. So that's the idea: turning cubic feet into square feet, putting your compressor into your garage, and uh, it's all fairly uh, affordable too. So thanks for checking in. I'm glad I got it energized and all fixed up. Next time you guys see me, I'll probably have that. Siemens panel here and all wired up and have everything all dialed in. So uh, thanks for looking. See you later.